Okay, so I have expand open. And one thing we can do with expand in the instrument track is if we're just using one of these uh, MIDI inputs, remember the one, two, three, and four, which you can select through your send on your MIDI channel, or MIDI output, sorry. You can simply use the instrument track as the MIDI track. So I'm just going to drag my MIDI from the MIDI track onto the instrument track, and you'll see that it plays it. So unfortunately, you can't use multiple uh, instrument. So unfortunately, you can't use multiple MIDI inputs in this in this way. If I were to duplicate my MIDI information back onto that MIDI track, so I'm going to hold down Alt. You'll notice if you click and drag, while well, you have Alt hold down held down, it duplicates whatever you're dragging. So this actually works with audio too. And if I make my tamperim active again, I can do it the same way with audio. So I'm going to hold down Alt, and it just duplicates that clip. But let's go back to inactive. And now I have two MIDI tracks, basically. So it sounds a little weird when you start in the middle. So what we can do in Expand is create a second sound that uses MIDI channel 2. We'll turn that on, and we're going to select a sound. So maybe we want just a nice, nice uh, synth brass. So I'm just picking the first option. Of course, there are a million options you can choose from. Like, look at all of those presets. So now, since I have MIDI uh, channel 2 with a sound, I need to route that first MIDI track into expand to MIDI channel 2. And now you'll hear both sounds playing at the same time. So I'm going to turn the click track off. So if I mute the uh, MIDI information going to channel 2, you'll just hear channel 1. They're separate. So if you actually want to mute the first sound, you'll have to create another MIDI track, because look what happens when I mute this. It just mutes the entire uh, instrument track. So let's look at some of the parameters that expand has. So for our little C major scale, let's go back to that first sound we used. So I'm going to actually just delete expand and add it back to get that first default patch that we had. Do you hear that it's it's kind of delayed? Like, wow, 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 wow. So what I'm going to do is change the attack. So the attack being earlier, or on the left of the dial, is going to make it attack faster. And if I delay it a little bit, or a lot, you don't even hear it because it doesn't attack fast enough for that uh, quarter note at 120. So as I adjust it, the attack gets faster. So I want a little bit of room for the attack, so let's keep it there. Now the release is going to be when the note ends. So that build up quick. Oh. So that built up quick. Let's change the release. All right. So we have all, all of that decay. I wouldn't recommend doing that.
So I encourage you to play with some of these options and see what they do. Uh, there's an arpeggiator, there's modulation, um, and you can also mess with the effects, which are the uh, reverb and the chorus. So you can change the reverb preset. Bright room is what I'm going to choose. And you can also change this chorus setting over here. It can be lots of different things. It can be a phaser. So I'm not hearing that. And that's because I don't have the effect dialed in on the sound. So we'll start with the reverb. You can change the size and shape of the reverb. This is without reverb. And this is with full reverb. You hear the tail on the sound? So we'll go back down to here. So maybe I want a phaser instead. So now we're getting into some really cool sounds. So maybe we want an echo. So this is a lot of fun to play with and I really encourage you to do that on your own.